A couple of the guys here. I'm 22, so I have not much experience in it. Yeah, you'll get there, man. That's really good. Two years of real estate experience. Wow, that's that's awesome, man. More than I got. Kaimani, hope I pronounced your word, name right, says, I'm starting college in August. I need help in deciding a major in cybersecurity, architecture, or cloud computing. Boom. Solved. Everybody clap. <laughs> Yay. There you go. I just solved it. World peace. Cloud computing. <laughs> okay, I got 16 people watching this i want to get a poll all right all you cybersecurity people out there all you it people who are watching me right now i want you to type in which one should kaimani get he's about to start college in august and needs help to decide on a major between cybersecurity architecture and cloud computing which one would you say which one would you advise him to do and if you have time why i'm gonna go with cloud computing and here's i'm gonna give you a reason why cloud computing right now with very little with not much experience i wouldn't would say not very little but not much experience is pulling in six figures why there's just not many people who do it and they're real and everything from netflix to google to gmail is going to cloud i would say cloud and see here's the thing here's why i pick cloud over my precious cybersecurity stuff cloud computing is you're gonna have to actually have hands-on at some point. And cloud computing right out the box is gonna give you that hands-on experience. I would also wanna look at the curriculum. Like if the curriculum is very hands-on with cloud, like you're actually creating uh, technologies built on cloud technology and, and you're gonna walk away with a certification in cloud, like an, AW, an AWS cloud certification, I would totally go with cloud. If you don't have that and it's all just theoretical, and you're going to come walk away with a degree and some theory on cloud. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. If that's the case, if that's what the curriculums are doing, then it, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. With In all honesty, it does not matter. But if this one's hands-on, cloud. If cybersecurity architecture is more hands-on, cybersecurity architecture. Whichever one is more hands-on, I would say. When I went to school, when I say school, I use the term very loosely because I went to the University of Phoenix. <laughs> No, but I learned a lot there. Um, all jokes aside, I learned a lot. I had great instructors. People talk mad crap about it, but I actually learned a lot. It was a great foundation. It was because that I had some hands-on. Like we had, we had one course where we literally set up firewalls. We brought computers into the class and we created a network. And then we put each of us put firewalls up and then start hacking back and forth and stuff. And all that was in a lab. And I learned so much by doing that stuff. That was very valuable to me. So, and then they had courses and curriculums where you could go this way and then you would walk away with a, being able to take the CISSP or you could go this way and you could walk away with a security plus or you could do, you know, the hands-on stuff where you walk away with a certification are like, in my opinion, are You'll be able to compete in the market a little bit better if you have something like that. If you have a hands-on experience that you can walk away and do it, then tch, yeah, it's not too many things that's going to beat that hands-on. All right, let's see. So I got one person saying cloud. I got another person saying IT risk analyst. Another person saying uh, cybersecurity architects, architecture. Another person saying IT cyber for two years, but cloud as it's pretty focused and easier to break down. Break, uh, so I got two cloud, one cybersecurity architecture, and one IT analyst. Fair, fair enough. I would also say Kaimani, like it's really your choice, man. Like, what do you want to do? I would, that's really important. Look at the curriculum. Look at where you see yourself in five years and what, what kind of degree do you see? What is, what's going to be displayed on your wall? What will you be most proud of when you look at your wall and see cybersecurity architecture or cloud computing professional or whatever the name of the certification is? Which one do you feel like you would be more proud of to see on your wall? I would say think about that five-year goal and what do you see on that plaque underneath your name? Very, very important for you to walk away and be some walk away with something that you're satisfied with. I could tell you this, whichever one you get, you'll be able to get whatever job that you want to get, depending on where you go, especially if you can get some good old uh, hands-on experience. While you're in college, I would highly recommend that you try to volunteer some time at the college to help with their IT department. If you can, like if they have any kind of program where you can get where you can get some hands-on stuff, do that. That's one thing I would say. 
the degree is really up to you, but try to get some hands-on experience because that hands-on experience is going to come in very, very handy. Like you'll be able to walk off the campus and get a job with that experience and your degree and a certification if you can. Okay, let me see here. Since I don't have any more questions or comments, I want to cover a couple more questions if I have any. Let me see here. And here we go. Okay. So let me see here if I can get some more relevant. Can't see the whole video. And this is referring to a short. I started putting out shorts. I don't know if you guys have watched me on a regular basis. Putting out these short videos. And then basically I just break up some of these longer form videos. Break them up into little parts. It's just some people consume the information in a smaller form and for them that's just it's just better so if you ever see the short videos more than likely i have a longer version of that one that's on combo courses on youtube so just go check that out if you want more information somebody said can't see the whole video unfortunately and they're referring to this short short video that i put out there okay some people d truth says some people don't understand the information that it, that's provided normally costs thousands of dollars from a company and don't offer discounts. I appreciate your time and sacrifice and effort that you put in, that you bring us. This is most needed information. Yeah, you know, he's right. Like the stuff that I'm teaching, the stuff that I that I teach is is thousands of dollars. And to be honest, to be honest, I got a lot more information is being planned and being put together right now in the background and the back end. I got so many more courses and so much more content and hopefully some collaborations coming with other cybersecurity professionals who are in the field, like people just like myself who are literally in the field doing this kind of stuff every day. And I've got uh, guys who have a slightly different a slightly different skill set and some with a completely different skill set that may be coming on this channel and I really hope to get them on this channel and start to show you some incredible teachers way better than me like instructors who will, are going to blow your minds and you don't even know their names yet but you will and I can't wait I'm super excited to get them on here because they're great instructors and have great content so there's more to come I want to keep this stuff affordable it's the prices will go up at some point but I do want to keep them I have a mission to keep this stuff affordable so that more people can get into this space and I want to show people stuff that I wish I would have known like I wish that somebody would have sat me down and taught me this kind of stuff but it just seems sometimes it just seems so inaccessible that you can't it's so over there you know it's so specialized but I'm trying to take that specialization uh, away and, and make it more readily available to the public so that's that's the mission okay let me see here got a bunch of spam 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 man this stuff's getting popular okay more spam and i think i covered some of this stuff last week all right 